Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a passion of mine, which is all things hair care, whether that's for men's hair, whether that's for women's hair. I have a particular interest in thin hair, thinning hair, and really trying to help achieve the best optimum scalp environment so you can have the thickest, fullest head of hair. If you've got thinning hair and you're feeling like you just can't deal with it or it's just absolutely affecting your confidence or do you know what if you're accepting it which is perfectly fine as well it does not change the amazing person you are however if you're looking in the mirror and when you're styling your hair and you're seeing more hair on whatever you're styling your hair with if it's product you're putting through and you're seeing more and more hair or when you're washing your hair if you're seeing more and more hair it can affect your confidence and it can be really devastating to both men and women Today we're going to be looking at a product which is by L'Oreal Paris Alvive. Now this is marketed at women's hair, but of course I don't need to tell you that both men and women can uh, experience hair thinning. Now of course it is a lot more traumatic, I would say. Um, it doesn't have to be, of course, because it doesn't change the amazing person, whoever is going through hair loss. However, for a lady it's particularly devastating, of course, because it's that identity, what hair gives us as men and women, but of course particularly so around women. I do think that even now in 2023 that men almost accept that at some point in their life they're going to go bald or they're going to lose their hair, which I don't feel that we should have to do that. I always think that prevention is far better than cure. So if we can hold on to the hair we've got or we can help improve our scalp environment or thicken what we have and really boost on that prevention side rather than trying to cure a problem or waiting far too long before we step on something to be able to help our hair loss or hair thinning, um, then if we can find something or if we can use a product to be able to help, then great. I myself try all different products just to try and find what works, what doesn't work. And I love to be able to report that on my channel. It's one of my huge passions. Right now, I'm actually looking at a product which I'm going to be taking away with me. I'm going to be going on a holiday in a couple of weeks' time. So this is why I picked this product up. But going back to that, I do find that, of course, this product marketed for women because it is, it's huge. For anybody losing their hair, is it's not great. But for a lady to lose their hair, it's it must be absolutely devastating. It really, really must. Um, but you know what? Have faith. And you know what? There are products out there. And just always keep that in your mind, that even the thinnest, finest of hair can still look beautiful with the right products, the right tips, and the right tricks and know how how to style your hair. And ultimately, it doesn't change the incredible person you are. Okay, so let's get on with today's clip. So we're going to be looking at this product here. So this is the L'Oreal Paris LV Full Resist with Aminoxyl. Aminoxyl? Aminoxyl? I believe that's pronounced. You can see it on the front there. Which is really, really strange because one of my favorite products, which is really, really helpful for hair loss, is Cerioxyl. And that is really, really amazing. And that is by L'Oreal Profession uh, Professional. And that is, it's, it's got quite expensive now because they've just revamped the packaging and they have revamped the sort of hero uh, serum product. Um, but it is certainly worth a look. In, in fact, actually, I will attach that on the end of this clip. But today we're looking at, of course, the shampoo conditioner. So, full resist with Aminoxyl, Aminoxyl, I believe that's pronounced, <laughs> and it's also got Aminoxyl, Biotin, and Arginine in here as well. Okay, so, I will be honest, Aminoxyl I did not necessarily know too much about. I know L'Oreal have got a few uh, sort of hero ingredients in their sort of repertoire of products and things for hair loss and hair thinning, but however, let's talk about that straight off. This is not marketed as a hair loss shampoo. Okay, it is marketed as hair with a tendency to fall due to breakage. Now, I do think that is very, very clever and a little bit sneaky, actually, on L'Oreal because Aminoxyl is a product which is licensed to be able to help with hair thinning, hair loss. Not a cure. It is a tool to be able to help people who want to control, who want to try and stop, try and even reverse hair thinning. And ultimately, what it does is it excels and puts more blood flow to the hair follicles when used on the scalp. However, that's for treatments. In terms of a shampoo and conditioner, I'm always a bit dubious of this because how how long does a shampoo and conditioner stay on your head for? Not very long. So in terms of that, you'd have to use it for quite a long time before you've seen any effect, I imagine. And actually even still then, because of using water and all sorts of other ingredients in the shampoo and conditioner here, I question the effect of it, and we're going to go into that in a little bit more detail in a moment. However, 
The shampoo conditioner does come with a serum. Okay, so shampoo conditioner, I've been using it for about 10, 12 days, I think, and probably every other day, sometimes I've been using it every sort of one, two, three days, and then I've let it off, then I've used it again. So I have used it, as you can see, about here on the conditioner now, and then on the shampoo, I've been shaking it, but we're actually about here. Okay, so not quite halfway through. Now, the shampoo for resist with Aminoxyl, it's a recyclable bottle, new formula, for, uh, reinforcing uh, shampoo with biotin and arginine in here, two times less hair on the brush. Now, this is for me where it gets a little bit cloudy because hair loss, okay, they're not saying, they're saying less hair on the brush. But to be quite honest with you, if you've got a healthy scalp of hair, you can lose between 100 to, I think it's about up to 120 hairs a day. So I'm not so keen on that, I have to admit. Um, let's talk a little bit about what it says on the back here. So train your hair to resist. Stress, brushing and seasonal change. And I like that they've mentioned that because seasonal hair loss is a real thing, uh, particularly for women, it seems to be as well, where you can have for the change of seasons and you can really see an effect in the amount of hair you lose. And I know men can actually get that as well, but I think it's much more common in women. And heat styling, okay, can cause your hair to feel weaker and thinner. As a result, it has the tendency to end up on the brush. Get strength back in with our reinforcing shampoo enriched with aminoxyl and hair supplements, biotin and arginine. Okay, so I just want to pick up on a line here where it says, as a result, it has the tendency to end up on your brush. Okay, but you're saying seasonal change. Now, seasonal change has got nothing to do with any products you use. It's got nothing to do with any stress or anything like that at all. It is simply changes of the seasons and your hair cycle seems to be able to sort of pick up on that fact. Okay, I know somebody's going to be a lot more scientific than that than me, but how your hair growth cycle works. So growing stage, then the resting stage, then of course the falling stage, and then there's that window of when the hair then starts to grow again. So a bit of a sort of a uh, sort of a uh, resting phase, and then that time period of when the hair starts to grow on the follicle again. Stemoxidine, which I absolutely love, shortens that window. That's not in this product. This is aminoxyl. Aminexyl. How have you pronounced that? Honestly, <laughs> that is said to increase blood flow to the follicles, so thereby increasing activity. However, it doesn't say that on the shampoo or the conditioner. It's simply saying less hair on the brush, which, to be honest, I hate because less hair on the brush could mean you're brushing your hair too firmly, just go softer, or it could mean that you're brushing your hair when it's wet, so you're causing more damage. So just be really, really careful of that. I always think of new products like this have that kind of realistic expectation. If you are losing lots and lots of hair, let me tell you, my friend, a shampoo conditioner, it's going to help your scalp environment. It's going to supplement your scalp environment, but it's not going to give you huge, huge wow moments in terms of your hair loss. Things like leave-in serums, which of course there is a leave-in serum in the shampoo conditioner uh, range. Um, I haven't got that. I'm not reviewing that today. I don't believe that would be fair to, because outside of this, I'm also taking a supplement, um, which I absolutely love. That's called Hair Gain. Now, that is for hair loss and hair thinning. OK, um, so I, I didn't think it was fair to review and certainly not um, certainly not correct and certainly not integrity based um, in, for my integrity to be able to review the serum. But the shampoo conditioner, yes, absolutely. And I think for about a 10 to 12 day window, I'm quite happy to be able to sit here and review that for you. In terms of hair loss and hair growth, I'd be reviewing it three months. But for me, just sort of off, off a bit of a whim, do you see less hair when you wash and condition your hair just over a week period? It's really, really difficult to say because, of course, there are so many impacting factors behind that. But in my mind, I think actually when I've used this, I've actually seen a little bit more hair fall. OK, I'm going to just pardon me for that. But I actually did, which really did puzzle me. Um, but however, what I would say about the shampoo itself is it's really, really nice. It loves incredibly. It really looks after the hair. Scalp feels absolutely amazing, really soothed. The hair feels strengthened. So when it says less hair on the brush and it says here reinforcing shampoo, then yes, I absolutely wholeheartedly agree. The aminoxyl in here, I'm not so sure to be honest, because it's shampoo conditioner. I think you'd need to be using that either in a treatment spray or in a serum. And if that's in the serum, then that would probably be the kind of a hero product from this range, the shampoo and the conditioner. Because for me, they are a strengthening pair. 
If you have got fine hair, which I have, and um, quite a lot of it, when it's wet, feel, it can feel really quite, just naturally quite weak, quite fragile. This, when you use this system, it makes your hair feel quite strong. It makes your hair feel as though it's got a lot more resistance. It actually it says reinforcing. I'm going to say it there. I know it sounds cheesy. It does feel reinforced. Um, in terms of hair loss, hair thinning, it's really difficult to say. So just a sort of a personal view on that. I've only used it for a very short window. If you were going to do a full sort of evaluation of what it would do for hair loss, you'd use it for a three month period. So your scalp environment got a full kind of spectrum of how it would work and how it would deliver. But for me, a couple of days I thought it worked really, really well. A couple of days I thought, do you know what I'm seeing loads of hair fall? I don't know. What I would say about this, if you're expecting to buy this and you're expecting it to give you loads and loads of volume, it's lovely, and I really do love this product. It looks after my hair very, very nicely. It gives an incredible shine. It gives a boost of health, vitality, strength. The list goes on. It's amazing. Again, L'Oreal Arvive, uh for this full resist with Aminex, Aminexol is brilliant. And I would certainly buy this again. I will be buying it again. I mean, it's certainly contended to be taking it away on a trip with me as well. However, it doesn't give much volume. It actually makes my hair a little bit heavy. Um, so any volume you have got in your hair, it's almost like that it's a little bit too heavy to be able to use on fine hair, but yet it's designed for that particular hair type. Or maybe it's not. It says less. All it says here, my friends, is less hair on the brush. Hair with a tendency to fall. So that doesn't have to be thinning. It doesn't have to be fine hair. It could be thick, frizzy could be huge abundance of hair and if you're seeing loads on the brush then it's saying that this is for you full resist so for me it's a little bit cloudy of what they're actually trying to get this across to whose hair type it matches um it does say of course here train your hair to resist stress brushing seasonal change and heat styling if you're talking about stress then you're going to be wanting to use something a little bit more than a shampoo conditioner you want to be looking at trying to control your stress, you want to be looking at hair supplements, you want to be looking at a leave-in scalp treatment, so the treatment in the range as well, uh, your diet, you're wanting to be able to perhaps look at how your body is dealing with stress, do you need to have a chat with somebody, do you need to have a chat with family members, do you need to get something off your chest, because all of these things really impact on our hair, I always say our hair is the inner expression of good health, um, good inner health, but as I say, it is a product that I absolutely love, um, but in terms of volume, no. I'd always stick my hair back if I use this. Um, but in terms of volume, yes, it makes it nice and sleek and shiny, but it does kind of almost make it feel like there's a little bit of a product after all in here. Um, so it's great, but not so great if you're looking at using huge amounts of volume, particularly if you're a lady watching this. I imagine the root area would be quite heavy, quite flattening, um, but it is really, really nice and it makes the hair feel really soft, really luscious, really healthy, and that boost of vitality. The biotin in here as well, I'll be quite honest with you, you'll find that in a lot of thinning hair, fine hair shampoos and conditioners. Biotin you need to be having from the inside, which the body creates naturally. However, it's really great to supplement if you can. Always speak to a medical professional beforehand. Um, but in hair care, what it does is it boosts and it looks after the lengths and ends of the hair. It gives strength, it gives vitality, usually volume, but not so much in this system here. Because um, of course, shampoo conditioner, it doesn't get through into the, the core roots of where the hair actually grows. It's just looking after the lengths and ends. It stimulates roots, absolutely, but I'm on about those rich ingredients which gets to the hair follicle, which causes hair growth or, or whatever we're talking about here or um, in excelling sort of hair growth. Any ingredients which is going to be in a shampoo conditioner is going to really find it difficult, if anything at all, to be able to get down to that level. Things which are stimulating, such as rosemary oil, caffeine, um, peppermint oil, let me think of another. All of those great ingredients, really stimulating on the roots. However, I would always suggest leaving them in the areas all over our scalp where or where we see fit on what's concerning us. Okay, so really great shampoo. Would recommend it. However, please, please, please just kind of have a realistic expectation of it. Um, it is great. It says here over 30 years, uh, L'Oreal has been committed to beauty without animal testing. That's absolutely fantastic. It says here the planet is worth it. Absolutely. I love that. Whenever I buy a product, I always want my children's children's children to be able to enjoy this incredible planet we call home as well. Um, it lavers amazingly. It leaves the hair feeling really, really sleek, perhaps a little bit too sleek, perhaps a little bit too heavy, but it is a product which really, really helps. And it does give strength in the hair. Um, I absolutely love. Some days I've seen less hair fall, other days I've seen a little bit more. 
really difficult to really take a measure from that just because I've only been using it for around a 10 to 12 day period. Um, okay, and then lastly, recycled packaging, fantastic. Cost wise, 300 mils, three pounds. Can't go wrong for that. If it does work, if you use it and use it and use it for months on end, then fantastic price, fantastic product. But if volume is your thing, Perhaps you need a root boosting spray as well. Okay, let's quickly take a look at the conditioner because, to be honest, they both are pretty much the same. However, the conditioner is a lot more richer, and of course, you leave it on for a few minutes, and you do get that abundance of moisture, nourishment, vitality in the hair as well. It's really soothing on the scalp, it doesn't make you feel itchy, uncomfortable, or anything like that at all. It says on the back here, train your hair to resist exactly the same. So stress, brushing, seasonal changing, heat styling can cause your hair to feel weaker and thinner. As a result, it has the tendency to end up on the brush, detangle and protect hair from daily fall, from breakage with our break proof conditioner enriched with aminoxyl and hair supplements, biotin and arginine. It's really great. It's clever the wording on that, isn't it? It's a bit sneaky, I have to admit, because if you're talking about stress, seasonal change, that's all about sort of your chemical makeup of your body, um, the seasonal change just in life, um, all of those huge impacting factors. But yet apparently this conditioner and shampoo is going to help us with that. I wish they would have worded that because it is a really great product. And in a way, I think they've done themselves a little bit of a disservice because the conditioner is really nice. It's really, really creamy. Um, but yet it's it's light, but it's not as light as I would like, because it does, as I say, if you put volume, I can imagine a lady there um, blow drying her hair, and I can imagine it getting after a few hours quite sort of heavy in the roots. So just be a little bit careful with that. Guys, if you're, if you're watching this, um, short, short, flicky hair, this would be absolutely amazing for you. Of course, volume doesn't necessarily matter, because you can always use like a clay product or a pussy or even a pomade or a blasting free spray um, by got to be uh, Schwarzkopf, my favourite, I have to admit that. Um, so you'd be fine using this. And of course, those ingredients, the biotin, the arginine, which we haven't discussed, which you'll find in a lot of men's products, actually, strangely enough, in boosting energy, vitality, uh, very awakening. Um, it's often in skin products as well. Um, but in for hair, I can read from aminoxyl, biotin, arginine, you're looking at waking up the hair, stimulating the hair with the aminoxyl and the biotin, bulking out the hair. In essence, those three. Okay, thank you very, very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. Thank you very much for being here. As I say, negatives, not so great on volume, a little bit flattening, and it feels as though that it's not so light as what it should be. Positives, a really amazing boost of vitality, nourishment, and of course, there's potential ingredients, the aminoxyl, getting the blood flow further to the uh, hair roots, possibly, it doesn't say it on here, stimulating hair growth, but just be a bit cautious of that. And then, of course, you'd have to use it for a long time before you've seen the results, so a good three-month mark before you can evaluate that fairly yourself. Hair loss is a personal journey, so if you're using it for that, give it a try. I absolutely recommend it for you. Three pounds each. I bought this from Boots here in the UK, a really, really great product. Biotin, used to bulk out hair, really a great sort of uh, added measure into any hair product if you've got finer textured hair anyway as well but if you've got frizzy hair this is going to be really great because it's quite soothing quite calming um you, you could say a little bit too calming because it flats the hair versus slightly um and of course that arginine there waking stimulating pumping energy into the hair as well giving it life and vitality not just those strands that are sat on your head it's giving them life vitality so really great range absolutely love it a bit about the wording on the products, but really, really love this product. I would certainly use this one again. As I say, I contend to take away on the trip of what I'm going on soon. And I would recommend this to both men and women. It's marketed to women, but both men and women can use this. Really, really good. And can't sing its praises enough, perhaps 98%. 2% is probably the heaviness on the volume and just that it leaves the hair a little bit flattening, unfortunately. Okay, so thank you very much indeed. Three pounds each was the price there and the conditioner 250 mil and the shampoo 300 mil there. I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I've absolutely loved doing this. It's been an absolute pleasure to uh, put this on my channel. So thank you very much for being here. And until next time, wishing you great health, great well-being, amazing hair, and I will be seeing you real soon. God bless. Take great care. Bye for now.